Hello there. This is the fourth installment of this little mini series, the various types of anomalies on Earth's surface. Today we're talking about out of place channels, for lack of a better term. Um, there's quite a bit of overlap between this and cartoonish rivers and rivers and artificially sculpted coastlines. And, um, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, this video will be a kind of light overview of the images I have, and then uh, I'll, there's a lot of content, so I'll have to br break up this video into multiple parts. So in this part, we will take a look at the images, make a few comments, and, uh, and then call it, call it a day. Ugh, I can't talk today. Call it a day. Um, hopefully I'll keep this under one hour, so let's get rolling. This is my thumbnail. Um, I spent, a, I spent way too much time making thumbnails, but this example is the first one I'd like to show. It's in Ukraine. Um, it's, uh, I had, I had said in a previous video that it was, it was in Russia, but it's Ukraine. Uh, this channel, uh, just, uh, I want to say that uh, it would make sense as a navigation channel or transportation channel, except that it doesn't go all the way through. Um, so there's a straight bit of it here and then here as well. It seems like it's continuing in some sense, um, the edge of it, or I don't know. Uh, it seems like there's more of that feature along, along here, but... Um, then here we have these, uh, ri um, sorry, the streaks or river, I can't think of the term right now, but um, these things, uh, river loops, uh, uh, kind of covering uh, up the, uh, c what, what would be the continuation of this linear gap feature or channel. <clears throat> um, so either these river uh, runover or loops are new, uh, newer than this channel, or uh, or something weird is going on. And then um, also over here we have what looks like a more natural river path, and then kind of what I would say, like if you look at this line here, kind of looks like an extension of this uh, trajectory, and then it seems to kind of go, go along here as well. Um, that's, that's kind of a, an iffy one, but I, I do suspect that all these, this whole riverway is, uh, mimicked natural patterns rather than natural, natu ugh, natural, natural patterns. So mimicked river loops with, uh, this type of thing as a, uh, as an alert to the fact that the river system is somehow bogus. So the idea would be, uh, well, I've already kind of explained that idea. So, but this, this wouldn't bug me so much if there weren't this bit interrupting it. Uh, cause now it's like, well then why would, why would you bother building this if, uh, if it's only to get from here to here? Why wouldn't you go all the way through? Uh, so anyways, uh, further down, uh, same system. See, this is one that m makes more sense. Um, same general area and uh, straight bit here. I'm 50-50 on whether I think this is a, a modern channel for navigation or whether it's uh, part of this project, the terraforming deal. Um, see, if this is a navigation thing, then it doesn't, e even if it is, like it doesn't make a whole lot of sense because look how small this boat is and look how wide, th there's such a wide berth already. And, like this doesn't save them that much time. So would they really need to go to all the effort to dredge this out? Um, I mean, uh, <sighs> And then here we have straight lines I'm just noticing here, kind of like that. Uh, 
almost, um, oh, I'm off my game today, sorry, uh, shut up, <laughs> uh, shut up was for me, not you, um, okay, and then just for reference, uh, Russia, I think nearby to this area in Ukraine, uh, but we have what I'm saying is fairly, I could say fairly confidently, I think this is a mim mimicked natural pattern, or at least artificially edited in some weird way, because so we have all these angular things that aren't particularly natural looking, whoops, uh, like this, uh, this little angular chunk here, a lot of, what else, this straight edge here, um, and then, of course, this thing in Brazil, this river loop uh, with the angular edges to it is just weird. So that's just kind of precedent for me that some of these riverways are a little odd, like something's not quite right. And so when we see something like this, we might just assume it's a, a traditional navigation channel, but it might be uh, weirdness like this. Um, okay, uh, Louisiana coast, uh, kind of discussed this already somewhat, but, uh, it's, I was doing a lot of research on this recently. I didn't want to go too gung-ho in this and then have to make a bunch of retractions again. So I did a bunch of research on, like, dredging and oil activity in the area, and, uh, uh, coastal changes like the sea level change and the land loss due to erosion and the, Louisiana is losing quite a bit of quote coast every year um, and the oil industry oil and gas has done a lot of exploratory drilling and these are like for transporting and servicing um, oil equipment uh, among those other things I'll, I'll go into more detail in this, or on this, in a later part of this Out of Place Channels video. Uh, but for now, I'll just give you a brief overview. Lots of channels. These used to be like connected channels, but the land has since uh, eroded away. So it looks like these are islands, but <clears throat> they're kind of new islands because this was all uh, one big piece of land recently. Um, yeah, here's this double channel kind of still remaining here. Still kind of odd. Um, I, I would say I'm 60-40 that this is um, all traditional activity. Or, mm, uh, let's go 50-50% because -50. Um, uh, there's a lot of... I mean, it's there is modern activity going in, uh, on in this area, and it's been going on for almost a hundred years now, the oil and gas stuff, uh, just heavy, heavy dredging of the area, um, large scale, and here's just a few looks at it. Um, a few things about these channels do rub me the wrong way, like the width of them seems to, in some, or from a certain perspective, uh, seems to be wider than is necessary for a lot of the equipment. Um, so it's like overkill if these are navigation ways, but I could be wrong. I don't know. And we have little stuff like this um, all over and like here, straight bit. Just some possibly strange, questionable things. Uh, here's some eroded land. And this area is very marshy, so it wouldn't be too hard to cut a channel, so um, or a, a whole bunch of channels. So that's to be considered. Here's a good look at the scale of it. Um, yeah, just for transporting equipment and pipelines and stuff. Here you see a boat and the size of it. We also see um, like these parallel channels and other straight channels that, like, you see these, these faint indications of parallel lines here going this way? To me, it, uh, 
lines going this way and more parallel lines here hard, kind of hard to see uh, kind of some lines going here curving around so I I don't know if that's channels or uh, activity that's like maybe 50 or 80 years old that is just kind of remaining or if it's uh, older than that in some uh, I can't talk today um, or if these are like part of the terraforming deal uh, I mean it's it's a hundred percent sure that there's a lot of modern activity again in this area but uh, how much of it is the oil industry and how much of it is something else is up for debate. So San Francisco, kind of a similar thing going on. There's a lot of dredging in the area. Just briefly go through these. These multiple uh, coastlines or what I was calling multiple or a double coastline or something. I, I, that could just be different um, pass-throughs with a dredge. Um, so they just took a slightly different path than they took the prior time. Um, again, com compare the size of the boat to the, the width. Uh, I guess it's, I guess it's about right. Um, but just going through these briefly, uh, kind of a similar deal to Louisiana. Um, but I'll talk more about these later. Uh, yeah, just this article's talking about all the dredging, the non-stop dredging that happens um, to maintain these levees and coasts as very nearby to uh, or close by to San Francisco Bay we have these riverways uh, and uh, maintaining river depth is one reason that channels are built so we might have uh, this might be continually dredged and redredged to keep it deep enough for boats to pass through something like that uh, okay India kind of showed this already but um, possibly an old or weird channel Mexico same thing Lake Junin in Peru, um, similar thing. I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning of this video, but I'll be scrolling around these all these examples in uh, Google Earth in uh, later videos or later parts of this out of channels, out of place channels video. Um, so I'm just showing you the images now. Uh, yeah, this channel could just be kept dredged for, or continually dredged for depth to keep it deep enough so that navigation can occur easily. Um, further down the way we have this long, or very very many channels in this area. Could be drainage, could be any number of things. Uh, New Jersey and all along the east coast of the US, these faint grooves, the parallel Groovies, um, and Delaware with the little spoil piles. That's a new term I learned or relearned recently. Uh, these bumps alongside the these channels. It's like spoil piles from material that was kicked up or discarded when the channel was dredged or dug like that spoil piles or spoil banks is what they're called and uh, here's uh, a thumbnail I made for an up upcoming video uh, yeah so the idea is wildlife conservation areas have these these patterns in them many wildlife conservation areas and this is not ex the exact same pattern as this it's there's obvious differences but um, uh, this area apparently in uh, Yulee, Florida is uh, the White Oak Conservation Area. This pattern is apparently uh, abandoned rice paddies and they're 
uh, over 150 years old, uh, like 1830s or 1850s. These were created, uh, apparently, allegedly. And uh, yeah, I mean, it could be abandoned rice paddies, but the, you see this similar pattern, I'll show you later, uh, appears in Florida uh, a whole lot in the surrounding area as well. And of course, those could be rice paddies as well, I suppose. I don't know. Um, certainly possible. Uh, but it's also possible that these are, uh, well, I don't know, th just the weird terraforming crap. Um, Thondiyikadu, that's a fun word to say. India, I kind of already showed you this. Uh, I, I guess we could call these channels, like out of place channels. Um, and uh, like I saw, or like I showed in a previous video, these are modern. Um, I just, or recent, I just don't know what they're for. Um, but yeah, that's that. I'm on fire today. Uh, this area of Argentina, similar deal to New Jersey and the east coast of the US, these kind of parallel and meandering uh, angular uh, channels that we need to discuss. Closer look at it there. Uh, could be drainage. I think that's possibly the most likely explanation. Um, could also be more uh, oil and gas exploration and activities. We also have these kind of what look like remnants of something or I mean, it's the coast, so stuff erodes fast, so this could be pretty modern. Um, I don't know what it is. F footprint of something, or... Uh, the edges of paths of dredging, or something like that. I don't know. It's to be considered. Here's a riverway uh, inland from that area. And again, the, the old grid, or... If these are channels, then like channel patterns, uh, kind of straight bit there. Uh, Iraq, these grooves, I'll show you this area. Um, these paths, or what we might call channels. Like I said, there's some overlap. It's not, you can't, I, you can't really, uh, or the terminology is kind of overlappy, <laughs> like this is kind of a channel or linear gap, like it, I was calling it, or I don't know, a dredge path or whatever it is, but um, yeah, Laguna Beach, this could be foundational work from, from the construction of this area, I mean, who knows. Yonaguni, Japan, uh, this type of channel is, uh, you see this quite a bit, like I've showed, uh, along many coastlines, and, um, I don't know if you, we would really call this a channel, technically, but, uh, and this isn't a particularly strong example, um, but just, it's one, one type of, uh, thing to consider, uh, it's just kind of seeing like an angular thing here, maybe not, um, Urg. whoops, sorry, uh, Northwest Island in Australia, this uh, channel, this is, I'm pretty sure this is uninhabited, this is just, uh, uh, just an island, a very small island, and here's, this could be for depth, so boats can approach the coast, um, but there's not really anything going on on this island, and then we also have what might be a path here, which I noticed earlier today, and I'll show you this general area. This is, according to Wikipedia, this Kilchless Meadow thing is a natural formation. However, it's looking quite artificial to me. It could just be uh, the natural coastline or former coastline that has uh, multiple beach ridges from uh, the eons passing, and then some of those eroded away. 
leaving some exposed beach ridges or whatever, or we, we might call this a channel. It could be natural and then um, a dredge came and uh, went through it for some reason. That's possible. Um, or, or the whole terraforming deal, whatever. Iraq, we'll talk about this. Um, these channels, kind of land channels, or they're like water channels that are either no longer in use or because uh, there's no water going on here. Uh, I asked around on um, the Google Earth Pro boards and also um, uh, Quora, Quora.com. That's a good resource or a good way to get leads or get simple questions answered. Um, I didn't really get any good responses on this one, um, at least nothing definitive. Uh, but these channels, I'll show you this area once more and some, some other surrounding areas. Like these hills are all worked over as well. So you kind of have to view all this stuff side by side. side, by side. Um, and these, uh, these banks along the side, they might be spoil piles from when the channel was dug or whatever. Whatever it's for. It starts and stops a lot and it's interrupted by roads. So it's certainly not currently used as a channel um, so maybe it was a channel that was planned and then abandoned but there's a whole lot of them um, I yeah it it throws me off a little bit I don't know what it is and the whole area worked over whether it's modern or uh, or or weird um, yeah so these slightly these things that kind of resemble bumps, or what I was calling bumps, or just uh, lumpy dirt piles, those are kind of, uh, they might be spoil piles, or spoil islands, or uh, just the material material that was kicked up from the dredging, if it was dredged, but even like these, uh, these ridges on the surrounding hills are looking pretty weird to me. Uh, it's like this is a more blatant version of the more ubiquitous tooling that went on in the general area. Uh, so yeah, these this looking very similar. Just for reference, we have these channels, all these channels, which may be oil exploration, and then these uh, these channels, and then the spoil islands alongside again it seems like way more channels than is necessary but I guess if it's constant exploration of looking for oil or whatever then uh, yeah I guess we should see a uh, hundred years worth of l channels looking around for uh, stuff um, I'll be I'll be <laughs> completely honest with you I was once considering that these are tentacles from, god damn it, octopus, uh, <laughs> giant octopus, um, ah, what do you call those things, tentacles, or, uh, s suckers, like these were, like, stretched out octopus or squid tentacles, and then these are, like, suckers, I was considering it, that at one point, and I, I guess it wouldn't surprise me if it's true, but that's no longer my best guess. We'll say that. Uh, I think it's just spoil piles. So, whatever's Okay, California San Andreas Fault. So I think this the San Andreas Fault may actually be like the Oregon Trail in the sense that it's kind of a lie and it's fake. <laughs> um, so you see this... So Okay, so most parts of this uh, San Andreas Fault. It's super long, so I couldn't look at all of it, obviously. I looked at a bunch of photos, and then also Google Earth, I kind of followed it, and uh, most parts of it look pretty natural, at least the fault part of it, uh, although the surrounding area looks pretty worked over and weird, but there's very natural looking patterns, and there's, there's also like very uh, artificial kind of straight 
paths or what look like a, a path. Um, so there's a mixture of natural and artificial looking uh, aesthetics to this San Andreas Fault phenomenon. Here's where it goes all along California, blah, blah. And uh, so yeah, it's looking, these hills are looking pretty natural, but uh, and then we also have the lumpy, bumpy landscape to consider here. Uh, and then very many like little paths or little, um, uh, I put this in this episode because it kind of looks like a channel here. Uh, at least along this stretch of it, but uh, yeah, we see lots of it that looks kind of worked over. Better look at the lumpy, bumpy rock scape or rocky landscape here, um, and we see lots of parallel working over lines uh, in the area. Or, uh, yeah, so here, uh, here's the fault, which may or may not be legit, and then. Uh, See that kind of like that, even just that little thing, and then these parallel, I don't know, like much much air or gouge marks or whatever marks, tooling marks if you want to call it that, uh, and lots of little gashes and gouges and I don't think that's all traditional modern activity. I think it's a, a larger thing going on. Here's one. Uh, I don't think we would necessarily qualify that as a channel, but it's kind of channely, uh, pathy at least. It looks like some kind of path. I don't think these are all like foot trails or, uh, dirt roads or anything. I think obviously some of this stuff, some of that stuff is in the area, but, uh, oops. this thing right here, this path, is kind of what I'm talking about, the the artificial weirdness we're working over. And here's a, possibly an even better example of that. Um, uh, well, so here's the fault. And then, um, first of all, this line thing here, like what is that? Uh, might just be a fence, but it's kind of goofy. Um, but the main thing I want to point out in this image is this path, which I do not believe is a trail. Could be wrong there. Might be a little dirt road, but... Uh, it's just a, an odd feature here along the bottom of this. And uh, I don't know what it is. But might be the terraforming dealio. Uh, okay. And uh, I include this image because it's very similar to that, this one. So if you thought this was a trail, then take a look at this image. Um, so this, this is in Utah. And uh, here we see a pretty clear path. It, this is not looking like it's rock. rock. Oh, I cannot talk today. Um, rock strata. This is not looking like it's rock strata here. It's looking like it is um, some type of path or trail. Um, so then we follow it and then it kind of like here it kind of morphs into the rock strata look to it. So and then it continues here. It might just be a trail uh, which uses the or follows the pattern of the rock strata. I guess that would make sense. Or certainly would, I guess. Um, but it's just a weirdy thing. And this whole area looks weird. I'll show you this area later in Google Earth Pro. Uh, but see, like if I were just looking at only this area, I would assume that this is natural rock strata, but then we have this path and many similar paths in the area, and then it seems to just kind of fade out there or trail off. And I don't think it goes any further, or it could be just not visible from this altitude. 
possible similar thing here. Okay. Uh, California, again, this is not the San Andreas Fault, but... Uh, yeah, this is a pretty trippy one. Uh, I'll show you this area later, and it's a long straight line. I was thinking it could be a former dredge line from the gold rush era. Like, just when a dredge looking for gold just kind of set out on one long straight line and went for miles and miles and miles. Uh, but it's it's similar to a channel, but it's not... I mean, there's water in it in some spots. Uh, so it's obviously some type of remains of uh, a little bit older activity. But we see some... It's just not... I was looking at... Uh, maps of fault lines, so I don't think this is a fault line because I couldn't find it on any maps of fault lines uh, But there's this Line very long line in California, and it's kind of major kind of weird uh, This I already showed you this in previous videos, but this these tick marks which are kind of like a channel that start and stops starts and stops but, uh, <sighs> yeah, I don't, I was considering that this might be a fault line, but I, I don't know if that's the case. Anyways, uh, Bolivia, we have this long channel-esque or channel-like wide lines that do not appear to be roads. So, um. Could be exploratory land dredging or something that a big project that got canceled or something like that. Uh, but it it's uh, might be might be weirdness. And then okay, we'll end with this. Um, so do you remember the first uh, video I posted uh, about this uh, long walls or channels? Uh, in Mauritania uh, and this looks more of like a, a protruding thing kind of here and then it's more channely right here possibly it's it's tough to tell but uh, the main thing I want to show is uh, closer to the Rashat structure we have this area which I would say is one of the most uh, smoking gun examples I have in all the research I've done so far so um, just in the last couple days, I found these, uh, I gave a closer look to the area near the uh, Rashat structure in Mauritania, and uh, this is pretty close by, and these channels are very, um, well, they're out of place. <laughs> a bunch of out of place channels like this one. Uh, so we have this channel, and this looking collinear with that, like along the same path, but if you follow this, it curves around. So it could be this channel was, and it looks like there's some uh, channel in between there. So like this was dug and then this was done. And I'm saying this is like a huge scale working over of the whole landscape because, and I don't think this is mining or oil industry or pipelines stuff or anything like that, uh, just because of, of the, it's like this whole area is just weird channels <laughs> and weird sculpting of the mountainside or hillsides. So I'll show you this area. There's a, I have a whole bunch of place marks here of just this weird channel aspect. And I think that's all the images I have for this video. So keep it short and rough around the edges and not sweet. <laughs> okay, have a good day or evening. Goodbye.